Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Today I thought we'd have a look at the web app exploit iceberg. Now this is an iceberg of some more or lesser known obscure exploits. Let me know which ones I missed in the comments below. At the very top of the iceberg, we have the more visible injection attacks like SQL injection, for example. That would be a big one, but also other injection attacks have possibilities of occurring here. Cross-site scripting, CSRF, cross-site request forgery, of course, XSS is one of my favorites. But CSRF is also a big one and can be a powerful one combined with cross-site scripting if you steal their CSRF tokens. And we have broken authentication and session management of which broken access control and IDO are sort of in the same group, including information disclosure, which can occur through things like cross-site scripting, IDO, broken access control, but also security misconfigurations, a course, CSP, HTTP only flags missing, but also click jacking. You know, some of the more less obscure items, we should say. Then at one level below that, we start looking at some of the more technical bugs like file upload vulnerabilities or XML external entities. And we also have server-side request forgery because you do have to have some knowledge of the internal network already. And security serialization seems like a very obscure topic to some, uh, but it's not as hard as you think. You can look it up. It's really not super hard, <coughs> but of course you need to recognize when you have a serialized value and you need to recognize how it's serialized, what's happening there, depickle it. These are terms that you can hear in uh, serializations but just look it up I'm not going to go too deep into it in this video this is just a quick overview and we have local and remote file inclusions as well of course and I think that the local file inclusions especially might be a little bit less useful on things like microservices because there's nothing on that service usually um, or containers of course if they have any misconfigurations if they have any configuration files on there you can still steal them so it's not totally useless don't get me wrong but i would also like to include business logic flaws in here i was doubting if i put it lower because this is something that is often occurring especially business logic flaws and it's hard to automate looking for them so that's why it's in here Next up, one level below that, we have rates conditions because you do need to, to have a limited resource which you can test on and you need to have some race condition, uh, conditions basically occur before you can have it exploitable. Then we have prototype pollution, which is a more obscure vulnerability type for some of you. Um, but again, not super, super hard. Just look it up. <coughs> we have HDD grammar pollution. We have server-side template injections, but also client-side template injections in here, of course, but also some of the more obscure injection types, such as object injection, um, such as, um, for example, OS command injection, and we have HTTP requests smuggling in here. Next up, we have algorithmic complexity attacks on a lower level, which are in my opinion, a little bit less occurring, like you will find them less, so that's why I've noted it down there. We also have cryptographic attacks, which again, don't occur as often, but if they do, they can be quite devastating. Together with social engineering attacks, especially these things aren't practiced by a lot of hunters and hackers. We don't get to use these skills a lot on a daily basis. Hardware vulnerabilities is the same thing, it's quite kind of a specialized vulnerability there which you can trigger sometimes through web exploits that's why I've put it in here but it's not of course hardware vulnerabilities in of their own they have to be triggered through web exploits and then operating system vulnerabilities the same such as OS command injection can belong in this category I hope you find this informing. Let me know in the comments below which ones I missed and at what level you would put them on. I'm very interested to hear your opinion and I always read all of my comments. So I really appreciate you interacting so much with the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye amazing hacker.